Hi guys, welcome back to Run Pup Bath and Beauty's Kitchen. Um, we are making a pretty cool soap tonight. It is inspired by the great Death Leopard hit, Pour Some Sugar on Me. And this soap was actually named by one of my customers. Um, she wanted a mango raspberry uh, soap uh, for my newest wholesale account. And she absolutely loved the idea of the raspberry mango, but I had no idea what I was going to call it. So I asked her to go ahead, because she's very familiar with our company and the different songs that we have and all of that. And she came up with Pour Some Sugar On Me. And my daughter, it's so funny, my daughter didn't like it. But it was about, I don't know, 20 minutes after I had gotten the email from Janessa. And Lauren put on her Pandora on her little headphones to do the dishes. And the very first song that came on <laughs> was Pour Some Sugar On Me by Def Leppard. So, Apparently the universe was speaking to her. So that's what we're going to make today. It's going to be an interesting pour. So we'll have to uh, see how that goes. But this is my Hathor recipe. So in my lye water, I have distilled water, uh, sodium hydroxide. Um, hold on one second. I need a paper towel here. Sodium hydroxide, salt, and sugar. So we're going to put that in there very carefully, scrape it out, and as usual, I'm going to bring this up to just almost emulsification before we add our yogurt. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and add our organic Greek yogurt. And then we're going to bring it to a very light trace. I've already made a loaf of this for my wholesale account. And this fragrance, um, it's a custom blend of mango and raspberry that I did. And it does speed up trace. So we will have to uh, work with that. Okay, let's get Freddy cleaned off here really quick it is Memorial Day weekend guys my husband's really excited that he doesn't have to work for a whole three days <laughs> he's been working at home still and I guess uh, right now they're gonna be doing that at least until through June so we'll see all right so the colors we have are raspberry red and I have some sal orange salsa mixed with some banana boat yellow. And then I have some titanium dioxide, which the titanium dioxide is also going to be used for our piping. So, oh, we're making a mess, guys. Not soaping right if you're not making a mess. Okay, and then I'm going to get these two as even as possible. And we'll see where we go from there. Well, that wasn't very even, but <laughs> it'll work. I'm doing a different pour for y'all that I haven't done so far. Let me get these colors mixed in. I'll have to blend that white. I just let me get, I'm sorry, I know. I'm a scraper. You guys know that about me. Okay, I'm done. All right, let me blend this and then we'll mix our other colors up. Okay, let's 
Clean Freddy off again. These two fragrances together, um, while they did accelerate, they did not rice, which was good. Let me get this all cleaned up. All right, stir this up just a little bit. All right, here's our our orange and banana boat yellow for our mango. I guess it could have been a little bit more yellow than that, but it'll do. It will work. And our raspberry red. I am completely out of raspberry red now, guys. And I went to order it and it's not gonna be in until uh, the 27th, I think, of May is what it said. So hopefully I don't have to make any soaps with raspberry red. All right, let me get this paper towel out of here. All right, here's our mold. And I'm hoping that I can do this technique and you guys can still, oh, you know what? <laughs> It'd be great if I added the fragrance. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I almost did that. It's been a while, huh, since I've forgotten the fragrance. I think the only one that I did forget was Policy of Truth that y'all watched. Okay, here it is. Just got to stir this fragrance in. Sorry about that, guys. See, you were all ready to see me pour, and nope. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, this smells so good together, this raspberry and mango. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to bring you in a little bit closer. I'm hoping that it doesn't, like, mess up your... Oh, jeez, look at me. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this without making a huge mess and where you can see. I've thought about this many times in the last couple of days since I made the other one for my wholesale account, um, how I was gonna do this so you guys could see. I'm doing a double pour, which means that I'm gonna pour the colors together on either side. and you're really not going to be able to see that. And I apologize, but what's going to happen is I'm going to try to keep the flow the same so the colors stay. The orange stays on one side and the raspberry red stays on the other. We'll go back and forth like so. And when I can't get any more out of there, and when I have to scrape, what we're going to do is very carefully line it up. Okay. Whoops. Got it all over the place. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing and line it up. So it stays on that side. And it does kind of make a huge mess doing it this way, but the design on the uh, one I did for the wholesale count is gorgeous. So I wanted to keep the design the same. The only difference between this one and the one I made for my wholesale account is this one is going to have piping on it. And you see how that sped up trace? It really did speed up trace. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to bang this after I clean it up. Let me clean it up first. I'm going to bang this. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this white and from way, way up high, we're going to drop it down the middle, just like that. And I know you're like, Sulin, what the heck? 
<laughs> All right, let me bang it one more time. Okay. Clean off my, I don't know why I cleaned off my mold. Now, I've got my aluminum chopstick and I'm going to use the wider end rather than the skinny end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and go this way and that way and this way and that way and this way and that way. And then I'm going to turn it around and we're going to do it again. We're going to do it this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way, this way. There we go. Okay. Now, let's clean up this mold. This mold is filthy. And we're going to bang it again. Okay. So, let me alcohol this. And we are going to take... You guys can see that? Yes. Okay. We're going to put our white in our piping bag, and it looks like it's going to take a while for this to set up enough for me to pipe. So that's good though, actually, because then I can do my dishes. I'm in a really good mood today. I'm not sure you can tell, but I am. It's just been one of those days where it's been a good day. I love those days. Ugh. Okay. All right. So we will be back when, well, let me wipe my fingers and I'll just take my gloves off. We will be back when we are ready to pipe. I will see you then. Okay. We're back. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. Whoa. Whoa. I'm having trouble with my camera today. Ugh. There we go. Okay. So let me spray this with some alcohol so we don't have some, you know, I've been having trouble with my piping falling off lately. All right, take our piping bag out. Oh, I gotta move this back just a second so I can push my piping down. There we go. Let's bring this back into view for y'all. And let's not get my hand in the way of anything. Actually, it feels like it's not quite ready yet. Well, I guess it is. Hopefully, y'all can see this. It's kind of hard to look at the camera to make sure you guys can see and pipe at the same time. This smells amazing, you guys. This is such a great fragrance combo. Like I said, I have some of the most creative customers, and they give me great ideas, which I love. Okay, let's go in the middle here. The weather today was absolutely beautiful considering it's been raining for three days straight here. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to leave that there for right now. My hands are like extremely hot and it makes my piping, you know, kind of runny sometimes. The rest of this I'm gonna have to throw in a in a sample mold. Okay, I'm just gonna throw the rest of this piping in a sample mold and then we'll finish this soap off. One last one. We don't need the stuff that fell on the counter. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to be picking up embeds 
so I have to take my gloves off to alcohol these. You guys remember these? These little raspberries. Um, I used them when uh, we made raspberry beret together. And I'm not touching the soap, so I'm going to try to get these uh, whoop, so I don't have to cut through them. That would be nice. But if I do, oh well. I'm going to have to move some of these over just a little bit. Like these ones over here are just a little bit close together. over just a little bit just to make sure that our end pieces are the same size as our other pieces without getting soap on my hands. Okay, spray that down again. Now, I have these great sprinkles. I'm going to use the red and the orange. And I will press these sprinkles down into the soap off camera so you guys don't have to watch me do that because that can take a, a hot second. So, alrighty then, a few more. There's like a blank spot where there's no red. There we go. Okay. To glitter or not to glitter? Oh, I don't know. I think the sprinkles are enough. What do you think? God, I wish I could talk to you guys. Glitter or no glitter? Glitter or no glitter? I guess it's going to be no glitter. Okay, so I will be back in 18 to 24 hours to cut this. And we will see what she looks like on the inside. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We're going to cut pour some sugar on me. And this turned out very, very lovely. But these little um, candies are coming off everywhere. Oh, I forgot to tighten my wire. That was bad. Okay. I'm going to try to take an end piece off of this. I'm not sure if, I, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Let me do this measurement here. No, nope, no end piece this time. But I am going to cut it on its side so we don't have to worry about those candies. I just gotta watch where I'm cutting so I don't cut those raspberries off. It's been a few days since we have made this soap. I'm hoping that y'all can uh, see well. I turned off the light on the other side of me so you'll have to let me know down in the description box below if that works with me cutting the soap with that light on the other side of me off this smells so amazing guys I mean like so amazing ah come off there we go oh look at that that is so, it's so pretty I love these two colors together gorgeous gorgeous okay <laughs> Ooh, see, it's been, <laughs> it's been a few days. <laughs> That's the, the one thing. I've been so, 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 so busy. I've been working on... Oh, now i just messed you all up. I've been working on updating our website and updating some stuff on YouTube. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut a small sliver off right here so my bar... So my raspberries in the middle of the bar. So that'll be a sample piece. 
I hope everybody's doing so good. I'm in a great mood today, even though we got my favorite show of the year that we do is in December. Um, it's at Romeo High School, and it's been my favorite show. I mean, it's fantastic, the show is. And today I got the re my uh, refund because they uh, canceled the show, and it's all the way in December. So I want to thank you guys. You know, everybody who comes on the website and buys from us and whatnot, because if it wasn't for y'all, and my wholesale accounts are, you know, I'm still doing those, but um, if it wasn't for you guys, we'd not be doing well, and I appreciate you more than I could ever even put into words. I love you guys, my customers. You are the greatest people in the world. I do. I appreciate all of you. And that one. Okay. Ah. Got candy everywhere. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't wait so long to cut these. <laughs> like I said, I've just been really busy, which means that uh, the other soaps I have to cut tonight are going to be <laughs> really hard, too. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, I tell you. It happens. Life happens. Yesterday was Memorial Day, and we had a whole bunch of family over. It was fantastic. Got to see my dad. I haven't seen my dad since this whole thing started. And, you know, since, you know, none of us were affected by it, he was able to come over and spend Memorial Day with us. So it was nice to see my dad. There we go. And then this one, which I'm also not taking an end piece off. Some of these, a couple of these are kind of big, but that's all right. So, alrighty. I will see you guys, you fantastic, wonderful people. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.